I've always been registered as a blind person. My brain guesses what little I see and makes sense of it. I see colours, but I don't see shape. It's only in the last five years that I've been able to get on a train and listen to the news like everybody else is doing. The smartphone is called In Your Pocket. We think of it, it's a kind of friend we carry with us, a remarkable example of modern technology. It will read to you books and newspapers. So you tap at the button and you say, find me articles about cricket or any other subject and I'll try and avoid Brexit. One of the features that Pocket has developed in the last year is called Be My Eyes. I go through to a server and there are lots of people waiting to volunteer. I'm connected to the world, really. We come across some lovely accents from Sweden and Poland and Australia. We say hello to each other. They say, hold it up in front of the camera, up a bit, down a bit, no, a bit to the right. It could be pointing the phone to the oven and wanting to know what temperature it is. It could be a medicine packet, and they start to read it to you. One of the best features of Pocket is this help with navigation. I can at any time say, where am I? And it will speak the name of the road. Then as you walk, the phone will tell you, you're 10 feet, five feet, you're at the dog bin. The guiding spirit behind Pocket is users. It's that coming together, R and I B with O2 behind it, that makes it possible. It's great sending text to my daughter. We're always chatting to each other and encouraging each other, just like everybody else. 